So we wanted to try to invite the space to participate as part of the exhibition. Uh, we wanted to veer as far as possible from the conventional ways of um, showcasing art. So each room, according to its function, uh, we tried to place uh, the similar themes that the space would be um, related to into those spaces so that um, when the visitor comes to inside the room, it would feel more intimate and more relatable. To really pull that intimate experience, we used the idea of subtraction to really enhance that moment within the room. Almost transporting you to almost like a, another space and away from your typical hotel room type of context. So one of the main anchor points of our setup is actually the bathroom space. The space itself, it's uh, quite interesting because the bathtub is almost like at the center of the entire room. Um, so from the bedroom, you can actually open um, some sliding, uh, almost like sliding doors where you can see inside the toilet, see inside the bathtub. So um, you almost get a 360 view of what's around. Um, so we wanted this bathtub to become the anchor point of the entire space and um, transform the space to um, pair it up with Julie Baker's paintings. Uh, because her paintings are so uh, lively and so natural and organic in, the, in her strokes, so we wanted to mirror that by transforming the space into a botanical garden. We want to create a painting in itself with the choice of colors that we use. So this imitation of the art within space, making it a reality, causes this sort of a surreal tension between the artwork and the real space. And that's essentially what we want to create within this immersive experience. So viewing the art in itself is actually living in it as well. So within the walk-in closet, um, the space is a very small, dimly lit, and the activities that we perform in there also is a very intimate and private space that, that one only perform on their own. So the artwork we chose is a very um, kind of surreal art that you need a lot of reflection and artwork that provokes a sort of secrecy within the work. In a way, we utilize all the wardrobe space, the drawer space, even though it's a space that's quite hidden, but mm -hmm. through the idea of play and discovery, you, you can find things more as you uncover each spaces. So for the bedroom space, uh, we wanted to um, showcase art um, by Rob, because his artwork is very um, intimate in its nature, it's very honest, um, and it's a space where you can um, truly be yourself, which mirrors his really bold strokes. Um, his bold colors and his way of depicting the, the nude figure is very, very applicable to the themes that we experience every day in the bedroom and also with the dim lighting to uh, enhance the mood that uh, one might experience every day when you wind down during the night. So within the really small cubicle of the toilet and also the shower, it's quite an unconventional place to place an artwork there. But from our perspective, we think the sound and the echo and the smell really um, create a sense of space and a vast space within that area. So in a way, we use the spatial qualities to curate the art inside. And to enhance these spatial qualities, we put um, plant pots at the bottom of the floor to kind of elevate this forest and the idea of um, like an infinity space inside due to the echoes that we hear quite a lot. When you go into the space, it's almost like a peek into another world. For the room itself, it's quite a limited space. So we tried to really use the space to our advantage, um, make it relatable so that it doesn't, the room itself and its elements um, and the context doesn't become an afterthought. 
so by a visitor's perception, we wanted to uh, broaden that by including parts of the space to become the exhibition. So with the curation of the darkness and light and different smells within each room, we created this landscape of sensory experiences for the audience to navigate through the small um, niches and spaces within the hotel room.